Good morning, or depending on you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and I was always told I had a voice for radio, so today I am going to be telling you about Ace Spec Trainer Cards. Specifically, we're going to be looking at why computer search is so expensive, and what you can play instead. Fort Wayne Regionals is coming up. That is an expanded tournament in Europe. There is a special event coming on September the 30th in Bilbao in Spain. Fun fact, day after my birthday. And that is also an expanded tournament. So I need to start bringing you some more expanded content. And you know what? People have been talking about computer search this week. I think that's a good place to start. Now, computer search is a ridiculously good card. Discard any two cards from your hand. Search your deck for any one card. And we really don't have cards that can search reliably for stuff like Double Colorless Energy, for instance. Remember that Night March is one of the biggest decks in Expanded. So just the ability to search for Special Energy is amazing. But it's not just that. It's finding a Sycamore when you've got nothing in your hand. It's finding the last piece of that puzzle. And then, of course, you've got some decks that want to discard energy, like, for instance, Dark Cry, so they can use Dark Patch, or Eel's deck, so they can use the ability to recover electric energy. So the discard helps as well. But people have been, you know, putting reports up online that it's $80, $90. Why is it so expensive? I can answer that very quickly. And not just because I'm a business teacher because it's got a fairly simple answer. It was released in Boundaries Crossed in November 2012, and it never got reprinted. It came out about five years ago, in one set, and it never got reprinted. Now, the problem is, since November 2012, the player base has grown and grown and grown, but more Boundaries Crossed has not been sold. Now, I know some players have left the game, but the overall player base has grown. And, of course, as is inevitable, some people leave the game and keep their computer searches. Some people break their computer searches or lose their computer searches or whatever. The number in circulation is actually falling, while the number of players that want one is actually growing. And simple supply and demand, supply goes down, demand goes up, price skyrockets. This is actually a reprint of a card that came out in the very first Pokemon set ever as an item card. Well, train about that item nowadays. I mean, think about being able to play four of these in your deck and just being able to go nuts with them. That is ridiculous. The problem is that one didn't have a spec in the name. And the Boundaries Cross one does have a spec in the name, so you cannot play it and there are a bunch of decks that just need computer search something like night march the attackers attack for a double colorless energy well joltic does and pumpkaboo does if you've got a dimension valley out so you really desperately need to get your double colorless sooner rather than later computer search really helps with that think about a deck like trevenant that needs that turn one trevenant to block items and if you go first the only way to do it is using a wally that's all right Computer search helps you get a Wally. If there's a particular card you really need to search for, like Double Colorless, or you really need a fast start, like for instance in Trevenant, really computer search is the only way to go. But I thought, you know what? Let's look at some other options, and maybe maybe they can be good too. Maybe there can be some other things to play around with. Don't have a computer search, can't afford a computer search, what can we play instead? And more importantly, what decks can use them? And we're going to go in descending order of greatness. So clearly number one is computer search. Number two is dowsing machine. Get to discard two cards from your hand and grab a trainer card back. It's a slightly souped up version of junk arm, which you could play four of in a deck. Junk arm could only grab items. Dowsing machine will actually allow you to grab supporters as well, which does make it shall we say, a little bit better. Dowsing Machine should be your go-to, I don't have computer search, let's play Dowsing Machine. Dowsing Machine is amazing. I mean, if you're playing a Sableye-based deck, then you can actually use Sableye to recover Dowsing Machine and use it over and over again. It is a great great card. The problem is it's not computer search. Dowsing Machine is brilliant in the mid to late game, and to be honest, time you get to the mid to late game, it's better than computer search. But with cards, like I said, decks like Night March and Trevenant, 
you really need computer search in the early game. But decks that really want this are, well, Dark's a great example. Speed Darkrai. You really need to use Dark Patch. With the new Darkrai GX coming out that gets an automatic one-hit KO if your opponent is affected by a special condition, you really might need to get your Hypnotoxic Laser back, etc. So here, Dowsing Machine is better than Computer Search. Yes, it would be nice to get started nice and early with a computer search, but more importantly in a deck like this is being able to keep your momentum as you go through the game. And the way you do that is using Dowsing Machine to recover things like Dark Patch, like Hypnotoxic Laser, etc., than using a computer search. I don't think I've actually mentioned this, but of course, A specs are one per game. You can only play one of these in your deck. Although, like I've said, something like Sableye can recover these. You could, of course, also use something like Puzzle of Time to recover your a spec trainer card. Another deck that could use Dowsing Machine is Aquabox decks. Using stuff like, for instance, Lapras and Seismitoad, and using Aqua Patch. And the theory here is exactly the same as using Dark Patch with Dark Rye. The third best option, this is a very niche one in certain decks, Scramble Switch. I love Scramble Switch. Scramble Switch allows you to drop your Pokemon into the active and steal as much energy on the active as you want to. Doesn't have to be all of it. You get to choose how much. Now, essentially, Scramble Switch is amazing in any decks that can survive for a little while and then need to get out of dodge. The best example of this is Primal Groudon. Primal Groudon, huge HP. You can use Focus Sash to avoid one-hit KOs or Hard Charm to tank for a little bit longer. But it's four energy. It takes a while to set up. You generally will play Wobbuffet to block abilities to give you the time to set up here. But you take so long setting up a Primal Groudon that you really don't want it to go down. So what do you do? You play Scramble Switch. And when your Primal Groudon is about to be KO'd, out comes Scramble Switch. And then, of course, you can use Puzzle of Time to do it over and over again. A slightly different version of a very similar deck, but personally my favourite... Regirock. This might be my favourite deck in Expanded. I have done a video about it now. It's quite an old video, but I'll drop a link in the description anyway. I love it. You've got the Ancient Trait, which stops your opponent using uh, trainer cards against Regirock. So they cannot use something like a Field Blower or a Startling Megaphone to get rid of your Focus Sash. So you basically don't get one hit KO'd. So they don't KO you, you use Scramble Switch, then you use Puzzle of Time to get it back, and you can Scramble Switch multiple times per game. It really is kind of cool. And in a deck like Primal Groudon or Regirock, I wouldn't even consider Computer Search. It's all about Scramble Switch. Again, Scramble Switch is fun, but really this is for, it takes a bit of time to set up, but then I really don't want to get knocked out. Now... The last, as far as I'm concerned, really good option is Life Dew. I really like Life Dew. Life Dew is very simple. When you get KO'd, you don't give up a prize. This would be amazing in Night March, or you give up one fewer prize, so an EX would still give up one prize. I really like this in Night March, but the problem is using Computer Search to get that double colourless energy early is too good. I think somewhere out there there's a player that can have a good run with Life Dew and Night March. But let's be clear about this. If you don't get the double colourless, you really are in a bad, bad position. Possibly a better option for this is Trubbish. Or should I say, Tool Drop Trubbish. There is a Trubbish, ladies and gentlemen, that I really, really like in Expanded. And maybe we'll do a video about this in the next few days. It's a Tool Drop Trubbish. You do a bunch of damage depending on how many tools are on the field. 20 damage for each tool on the field, yours and your opponent's. You can use Dimension Valley, so you can do this for a single energy. And then, of course, nowadays you can evolve it into the Garboda, so if your opponent uses too many items, then you can punish them using Garboda. So Tool Drop in the early game, Trash Valanche in the late game. And, of course, here you're using Single Prize Attackers to give yourself a really good matchup in terms of winning the prize race. 
you're taking one or two prizes per knockout. Your opponent's taking one. And then if you've got a life due, they don't even take a prize. Yeah. Life Dew really helps. And in Tool Drop, Life Dew is the way to go. And this could be a really strong deck in Expanded. Now, there are a couple of others I'm going to mention very briefly. If you really don't have a better option, Master Ball is better than nothing. You want to be playing an Ace Spec. They are really good. I mean, Master Ball allows you to search for any Pokemon. You don't have to discard cards like Ultra Ball, for instance. Master Ball's fun. And I would love to play a Master Ball in my deck. I would adore being able to pop a Master Ball into any of my decks. The thing is, I wouldn't play it over Computer Search. I wouldn't play it over Dowsing Machine. I don't think I'd ever play it over Life View. And in a lot of decks, I wouldn't play it over Scramble Switch. So, yeah. That's why you don't see more Master Ball. But if you're really stuck, Master Ball's worth a punt. And finally, Gold Potion. Yeah. This was good for the Darkrai Mirror. Because you got to heal 90 damage and Darkrai did 90. Mostly, I'd rather play Master Ball. Now, I have ignored a couple of A specs here. Obviously, if you're using a Victini EX deck, you need to use Victory Piece. If you're using a Verizian Genesec deck, you need to be using G Booster. I don't think any of them are viable, ladies and gentlemen. That's why I haven't mentioned them. Verizian Genesec is going to get smashed by any Volcanian Turtonator decks. It's going to get smashed if Speed Darkrai gets set up. There's just way, way too many bad matchups. I'm just not a fan of it, so I'm not going into any great detail here. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why computer search is so expensive and the options you've got for replacing it. But I want to know what you think. Tell me your favourite non-computer search A-spec in the comment section. I think if I just asked for your favourite A-spec, it would just be a comment section full of computer search. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wossy and Twitch at twitch.tv slash ptcgradio. If you want to support this channel, get some bonus pods, etc., go and check out patreon.com slash ptcgradio. Bonus pod for is going up on Saturday, which means you are not going to be able to get bonus pod number two after Saturday. Get on it, ladies and gentlemen. It's going away. But the most important thing is always, look after yourselves until next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.